Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Will, your sisters are leaving We're leaving! Never to come back again oh, <laughs> He's gonna be grumpy Is he not gonna get up for us? I will Oh, Becky No, the time has come I don't wanna do it Oh, I don't wanna do this You be a good girl Some good food She's always got me. It doesn't matter what I say. Ah, oh, sad. Oh, here we go. Love you. I will. I want this to be like good vibes because we need it to be all positive. That's part of the mindset, especially for this year. Being positive and finding the best in things, but that sucks. Okay, I think a Starbucks will turn this around. Oh my gosh, okay, but I've done it before. I've traveled a lot before, I have to remember that. It's part of it, it's part of getting older. Just never, never is easy, but I think there's some quote somewhere that talks about, aren't you glad you have people that it's hard saying bye to? Is that the quote? Something along those lines. So the plan is, I need to go get um, gas because I have half a tank and we need a full tank for this drive. And then some Starbucks to brighten the mood. 9 a.m. Ella and I have our scheduled COVID test and so we will be tested and then wait two hours, get our results. Erin's going straight to her house. Um, Mom and dad are driving separate because we have a lot of stuff to bring for the both of us. So yeah, that's basically what's going on here. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm in my body right now. Wow, me trying to sneak my way in here. I also want to text Ella because I feel like she's also having a hard time saying bye to her sisters and dog and cats. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. It's a six seventy nine for you. Perfect. Can I pay for the person behind me as well? I'm actually moving down to college today. Oh, this is my gosh. last time at the Starbucks. My favorite. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. She was so sweet. Wow. I'm gonna turn off the camera now and let's go to college. Oh god. <laughs> been a little bit basically Ella and I had to get tested it was actually really organized they had us go in and we should get our results in about an hour Aaron and I just picked up food for mom and us but funny little story I had to pick up my cat card which is basically how you get in and out of the dorm how you pay for food you could submit a picture online and I didn't realize they ask you to submit a picture against like a wall kind of like a driver's license I submitted this picture I'm gonna insert it, it <laughs> I don't know why I did that I thought it was like a good pick and I didn't realize that you needed to do like an actual normal student picture so they of course didn't approve it which makes sense so I had to awkwardly take one this morning and it's probably one of the worst pictures of me that I've ever seen and I will be stuck with it isn't it for the whole four years mm -hmm. I sold my shitty one <gasps> for four years I'm stuck with this picture wow it's so upsetting the test result is negative so we get to move in dad and I are in the truck we got everything out and now we're headed over to see the dorm hottest day of the year 118 uh, and it's only what 1040 and it's this hot. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cold in here. Oh, oh, it's cold. oh my god. Bro, what? I'm sleeping. I can't even talk. Oh wow. This is so crazy. <gasps> we go. Ah. Oh wow. We make our big conjoined bed in the middle. <laughs> Wait, this is like our room. What? Oh my god. We got everything up and as we were trying to get this up the elevator, my dad dropped it and everything came crashing out. It's fixable, it's a little indented here, but we're gonna try and work with it. It was definitely hard to get everything up because they only had 30 minutes. Now Ellen and I are just organizing. If that's the worst thing that happens today, the worst little stress, then we're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How are the 
headboard's gonna balance. We're gonna take with the roller tape. That we'll put the tape oh, first. is that the piece of wood? So much going on in one room. Yeah, basically, I made a comment that we wanted it minimalistic, but everyone's like, that's not what that is. Now we're understanding. Now we're <laughs> it's coming more together here. <laughs> You did it! Good I job! I put my muscle on my back doing that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Food and... Oh, am I going to put them in here? There was a dead moth in this one. Did we get it out? Mm -hmm. Pots in here. Yeah. And then under the back. Okay. They, they fell down and there's glass everywhere. But we kind of expected that. Oh, I got my tapestry up too. We <laughs> in the middle of a crisis. This took so long and you would think you would just like throw it up there, but getting them to all stick, this cement wall is so hard. Command strips did not work, so we had to go to my dad's like extra magnetic stuff. Love this, I'm gonna be putting a plant up there. And then we have not made the beds. So we're really excited for it to all come together. Yeah, we're all really hungry. And then the biggest bummer was the lights were so cool because I feel like that light is very intense. They didn't work and they shattered. And so we're gonna get plastic bulbs and then have them go back and forth. So basically yeah, we're gonna get some food and then do the beds and keep going on. So as if the light shattering in the room wasn't enough, Erin cut herself cause she was taking her own box to her house and then dropped them on the way to the parking garage. And now she has a really deep cut. I can't go out there just because of the way I get sick and pass out with blood. I'm not just saying that to be like dramatic, but like I genuinely do. So they told me to stay in the car, but I'm really worried about her. Basically learn from us. It's not smart at all to have glass, let alone glass hanging lights in the dorm. That was me and Ella's job thinking that we were onto something. Our parents honestly didn't even know until we showed up and told them. So Ella's going to Home Depot and Target right now to look for plastic ones. So that way if they fall, nothing will happen. Yeah, I guess part of why I wanna make this is to learn from my experience. So definitely steer away from that. But I'm really grateful that both of our families are here and just really helping us. I need like water and an ibuprofen and some pizza. That's, that's what I need. So, Ella's parents just left and mine went back to the house with Aaron to do some stuff. I don't really know if they're leaving tonight or in the morning yet, but we're officially on our own and we don't really know what to do. Like we have, we can literally do whatever we want. That's yeah, so terrifying. It's a weird feeling. Like do we shower? Is it too early to shower? We don't know what's going on. There's also someone right down the hall playing really loud music, which is super intimidating. But funny story, we're actually in the middle of the RA and the RA's manager. So basically, we're gonna be being watched a lot, which honestly I feel fine with. I feel like comforted, but I don't know. First. I want to shower. I feel gross. I'm also trying not to spill. You with the ice cube. <laughs> How was it with your parents sleeping? Honestly, it was really sad, but it hasn't really hit me yet. It hasn't really hit. Like, I feel like in the next couple days, Yeah. it just feels like I'm on like a little We vacation. feel like we're on a vacation, a yeah. little slumber party, but it's not gonna be that. Like, I don't even believe I'm sleeping here tonight. Like, I know, I like but like, we have to like make a schedule for ourselves and like feed ourselves. Have stuff to do tomorrow, like grocery shop. Yeah. Oh god, I'm not gonna give like a tour yet because I wanna do like a full video on that. So for now, you're just gonna be seeing more like our move in day, I guess, and our night here, our first night. Her mom's the best. She gave us a little present before she left and we opened it 
And it's both of our dogs. It's Becky and Finn. That's so oh. cute. This rug's gonna get it dirty that fast. Basically, it sheds everywhere and it smells really weird. <laughs> what are we doing in our dorm? I'm not in the mood for this. Just kidding, it's time. Erin would literally cringe at us right now. <laughs> Ew. I hate Where is us. She? Let's text her up. Let's hit her up. <laughs> Me what are you doing? <laughs> We need to text our only friend, my sister. Okay, I think we're gonna attempt to shower. We have a yummy little salad here, and the curtains fell already. So that is really unfortunate. It was my side that fell. Oh, I'm lucky it didn't shatter all this. <laughs> Us eating at our desk across each other. I'm really not enjoying this, this rocky chair you eating from there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot some camera. <laughs> So basically, none of the things that we tried to use to keep these staying worked. This is already falling, the mirror fell. So if you have any tips for how to do this on like very unique walls that don't take command strips and other things, let us know because we're really struggling over here. Take it out the trash because there's no room in here. Are we not allowed out? This is so problematic just to wash our fork. <laughs> What was it? Oh, it's so pitiful with my forks. Oh. <laughs> I was just trying to wash your forks. So you buy a portable dishwasher tongue. So are we able to leave? Do they trap you in here after a certain time? No, there's no way. We need to go try that again. <laughs> that was so scary. We, we opened the door and it started beeping so loud. Okay, well this is spooky as hell at night. <laughs> Oh wow, I locked the door. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're exhausted. This was a long moving day. Moving into college is hard. We're going to bed. <laughs> now Ella's shelf has fallen too. So as she was trying to fix that in the Velcro for her, was it your charging? Yeah, your, my charger. Your charger. I'm trying to peacefully fall asleep and someone bangs on our door and we don't know if it was like the RA, no, or if it was someone we trying sleeping. to punk we us. Really we were sleeping, we weren't being loud. All right, dorm life is spooky, basically. <laughs> okay, so my parents ended up getting a hotel and staying because everything was falling in the middle of the night. So they just fixed everything, and now I'm saying bye to them because they're going home. Both of you on your phones over there? Oh. I'm trying to send pictures to her too. We just had a full on photo shoot. Dorm is officially all set. We went and got breakfast this morning and coffee and walked around trying to feel, trying to get the hang of things. Everybody. We are exactly a week since I filmed this. Also, what's going on? I literally look back at this video and don't remember most of it because I was so dehydrated and being in the heat for that long, moving such heavy things just really does take a toll on you. It's been a really good first week here. I'm actually at the back house now and I am editing and uploading with the Wi-Fi here, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this. I'm really, really grateful to be down here and to take you guys along on this and to show you kind of what to do, maybe what not to do. We definitely learned about the lights. We got the plastic ones hung and it is life changing. But the organization that I wanna talk about for this video is called I Don't mind and it's basically helping to break the stigma behind mental health and that is something that I'm very passionate about because I have my own experiences with it and I have really really bad anxiety um, ever since I was little and something I've talked about before but I just think it's important to talk about and to let people around you know and for me to let you guys know that you're not alone and there are people and organizations and places out there that accept you and love you and can help you and give you people to talk to. So I will have their organization down below and I will see you next week for my first week of classes. I will be vlogging that and classes start Monday. So wish me luck. All right, I'll see you all later. Mwah, bye.